George, excited? Yeah, very excited. Um, great stadium to play at and um, something that I've wanted to do all my life. I've, I've been lucky enough to do it twice, but never won, so hopefully this is uh, my year. How important is it, do you feel, that you have been here? You know what to expect now, don't you? Yeah, definitely. The first, the first time I did it, I was a bit overwhelmed and just the chance maybe goes past you a little bit, but yeah, I've matured a little bit and I'm ready for a great game on Saturday. You've done it as a team against the odds. A lot of people have written you off time and time again. Injuries have really hurt you at times, but yet you still churned out wins. Yeah, we've lost maybe 10 of our starting players, and like I say, everyone's wrote us off and no one's believed. But I think as a group and as a, as a full staff as well, I think everyone's believed in, it, in ourselves. We've been down 10, 10 points for 10 minutes to go, we'll still come back and won. And, I think as a young side, that's, that's a great thing to have. It is, and, and I guess, uh, as Sean has already told us, 10 of your academy, or his academy graduates have come through. You're one of those. What does it mean to you to have been through the system at Wigan? Yes, it's a dream come true, and as a young lad, and everyone in Wigan wants to play for Wigan, and I'm lucky enough to be doing that at the minute, and I'm enjoying every minute. So, like I said, to be here and playing in the grand final is, is what dreams are made of. You're up against Warrington, a very good team in, in their own right. You know, you're going to be going up against Gidley, maybe Sandow as well. What, what's it like? How important is it for you and the team that you win your individual battle on Saturday? Yeah, everyone's going to do the job and 1-17, one to, one to 17, everyone's going to beat the man opposite to win the trophy. But like I said, playing against world-class half-backs and, and people who've been in the NRL for 10 years is, is a great thing for me and something I challenge myself on. And looking at the game, going back to Hull on Friday, it was a real ding-dong affair. You, you left it late, didn't you, boys? Yeah, like I said, we've been a few of them this year, and I think the belief's always there, even though Hull are a champion side, and it was up by four points, we still believe, and I think that's why we're here today, that the togetherness in the group is, is something special. And from your point of view, how important is it you've played alongside someone like Matty Smith throughout the season? Yeah, very good. Smith's a, is a leader, and he's a, a great talker, and... As a young lad coming in as an app, he's, he's helped me a lot and I can only thank him for that and hopefully me and him can uh, enjoy a beer and a, a ring on our f finger on Sunday. And, and looking at it, um, in terms of grand final week, what, what are you, you, you seem a laid back lad, I don't know, are you nervous, are you excited, I mean looking at it when it comes to game time, what you like before the game? Um, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty chilled out, um, I don't like to worry too much but yeah, I think when I get in the tunnel I'll, I'll feel some nerves and when I hear the fans and yeah, is it a bad of me, that song, uh, an opera song that always gets to me, so oh, that'll be good and hopefully I can get the win, like I keep saying. And what will you say to a couple of your younger teammates that maybe haven't experienced this before? What will your advice be to them? Um, just enjoy it. It's, um, it's, a, it's a great feeling. Like I said, something you all grow up wanting, wanting to do, playing big games, playing grand finals, and just enjoy it. Yeah. And obviously looking beyond it, uh, there's still more in the rugby league season. England ahead, you're hope, obviously hoping you're going to get in the side, but looking forward to that as well. Yeah, I'm hoping, but like I said, I've got a game to win on Saturday first and hopefully I'll get a nice call on Sunday morning that I'm in the England squad. But if not, I'll um, get a good pre-season under my belt and um, rip into next year. <laughs>